Welcome to the channel Food Tech Insight, an initiative to provide a brief knowledge of food. Today's topic for this video is D-Value. For understanding the D-Value, we will divide the content in two parts. Part 1 will consist of basic of microorganisms present in food, then their growth cycle in different phases, a basic of log reduction and the definition of D-Value. Whereas in part 2 video, the topic that will be covered is like reaction orders, how to calculate and derive the D-value formulas and how to represent it in food. So let's begin. Different microorganisms are present in food in the form of bacteria, moles or yeast. Some are useful in nature whereas some are pathogenic in nature. The useful example is like preparation of curd where we use the different starter culture bacteria. Whereas uh, in preparation of bread also we use active yeast. Whereas the pathogenic bacteria or microorganism example is milk, where the microorganism that is pathogenic in nature is mycobacterium tuberculosis, which on consume may lead to food infection or food poisoning. So it is important to either reduce or kill this pathogenic bacteria in order to consume the food safely. This killing of microorganism is included in thermal death kinetics. D value is the basic terminology used in thermal death kinetics. Next, we move towards the classical curve of microbial growth. The growth of microorganism occurs at different phases, as mentioned here, lag phase, log phase, stationary phase, decline phase. Let's explain these uh, phases through this graph. A is a lag phase, whereas B is log phase, C is the stationary phase, and D is known as decline phase. In this lag phase, there is no increase in the number of cells. Whereas, the mass of the cells will increase. Is increase. For example, if there is two cells present in lag phase, it will remain constant until the log phase has been achieved. The log phase where the number of cells will start increasing. Like, for example, if there was a two, phase, two cells in lag phase, the number of cells in log phase will get increased like 2 to 4, 6, 8, 4, 6, 8, 8 16, etc. In the stationary phase, the number of cells remain constant with increase in time. Whereas in decline phase, the number of cells get declined with time. For um, D value, uh, for thermal dead kinetics, we use this log phase. Now next move towards the basic of log reduction. This is necessary to understand because it will help in defining the definition for D value. Let's see. As it is written here, one log reduction is equal to 90%. It means that one log reduction is equal to 90% of initial population. For example, if a food product contains 100 microorganisms, so one log reduction, we can write it 90% of 100, that is 90. It That is in one log reduction, 90 microorganism is being reduced. Whereas in two log reduction, 99%, how it is being calculated? So two log reduction is equal to one log plus another log reduction, right? So we know already one log reduction that is 90% plus how much does it remain here? The living cells, that is 10 living cells has been remained. So 10 of 90%, that is 90 plus 9, 99%. And by this method, we will, we can find 3 log reduction, 4 log reduction and 5, 6 and it's going on. Next, next we move towards the D value. That is also known as decimal reduction time. D value is a measure of heat resistance of microorganisms. 
We have collected some definition from few books like unit operation in food processing, food process engineering and technology, where it is defined as the treatment time required, reducing the number of microorganisms to 10th part. The other definition is the duration usually in minutes of heating time at constant lethal temperature required for the reduction of number of living cells by a factor of 10. The time at a given temperature required to destroy one log cycle of the target microorganism. So while defining this D value, we should have few important terms that need to be used here. The first is time that is in minutes. Because D value is expressed in terms of minutes. The second important thing that need to be mentioned in the definition is specific or constant little temperature. And the third important thing is the reduction. One log cycle or by factor of 10 or 10th part anything from here so decimal reduction time can be sim in simplified way it is defined as how much time it is required to reduce one log cycle of microorganism that is 90 percent of reduction from initial population at specific temperature so that's all for this video in the next video we will study about the reaction order the uh, how to calculate and how to define the formula and then how to represent the, this d value thank you mm -hmm.